Want a Sprite Cranberry? Man, I want to get a TV show. Oh, is it time already? everybody, my name is Dan, or Cape Man Films, and welcome to another SCP Lockdown Showcase. Today, what do we have in store for us today? Um, let's see. Okay, we've got Take Only Two, Crystalline Butterflies, The Clock Works, Never Ending Pizza Box, Infinite Canteen, Pandimensional Vending Machine, Absence of Shark, and A Hole to Another Place. Uh, so, that's, that's gonna be really cool. Um... You guys want a cookie or anything? No? Anyway, uh, so, yeah, the, the SCP guys, they talked to me after last episode, and they felt like I deserved a few more things. Um, they, uh, they gave me a TV, very cool, and a toilet. Didn't even realize I didn't have a toilet, but I, I needed that. Um, so very, very nice of them. Uh, they also gave me the Omnicard, so I don't really know why these guys are here. Okay, seriously, quit following me. Ever since the other day, these stupid rats, they keep showing outside my house, and I don't like it. I really don't. It really bugs me, and I swear to God, if there's another rat, what's, that's what your job's here for. They're supposed to protect me from the rats, but they, they're not. Anyway, let's check out, I guess, Absence of Shark first. So, we're just going to dig a hole in the ground here and place it, place it down. Ooh, it's like a big aquarium building. All right, so let's just swipe our Omni card. Now, SCP-1057, otherwise known as the Absence of Shark, is a really weird SCP, and we're not going to go into it from that way. We're going to take a look and view it. So, what's weird about this SCP is that it's literally just the shape of a shark, but there's nothing actually there. It's like a translucent shark thing. Um, it's just a shark. It doesn't really do anything besides be be a, a shark and I mean it eats food just like any other animal and uh, if we go down here you can see we have some food for it so we can feed it some raw rabbit uh, let's just go and do that right this second alrighty who's hungry who's a hungry boy who's a hungry boy okay food dispenser there we go. I guess I wanted some fresh food. But yeah, it just, it just, it just, it's a shark. It eats food. It, it eats squids, it eats fish, it eats rabbit, it eats meat. It doesn't really actually go after people, which is very nice of it. And you can kind of see it's very, very translucent. It's also actually surprisingly not that aggressive. It's just like a regular animal. It's just kind of freaking out right now. All right, I guess that's time for us to go to the next SCP. Now, I've known about this SCP for quite a while. It's called the Pan-Dimensional Vending Machine. It was uh, taken off the streets of Japan, and it's literally just this vending machine. But what's weird about this vending machine is, first off, it doesn't have to be plugged in. It is not plugged into anything right now, but it still functions. It just functions better when it is plugged in. But uh, when you get some gold ingots and you actually pay the machine, it'll give you some random stuff. So now I've got a beetroot, and it gave me raw beef, and if I get myself some more money, which I'm kind of broke right now, so give me a second. Dude, can I borrow some money? I, I don't really, I don't really, they don't give me that much money here. All right, I got some gold ingots, uh, so we can just use them over again. I got an apple this time, very cool. Let me just put all these actually out of the way right here, okay? So we can actually like just look at my inventory as I get more and more things. I got a piece of toast, got an eyeball, okay. Bread, more bread, piece of candy. Now these pieces of candy actually come from another SCP, I think. It's like an infinite candy bowl or something. Um, not very sure about it, but very tasty candy, as you can see. And I feel perfectly fine, which is very, very good. I would rather not feel bad. This is a very cool vending machine. The only one that I have to warn you guys about is, is every once in a while you can get this weird soda. Maybe. Here's a really safe one. It's called the Infinite Canteen. It's just this, it's just this canteen, but it has infinite wa- SERIOUSLY?! It has infinite water in it, so if you're thirsty, you, you can drink from it and it'll never empty out. It's just a canteen full of water. People, like, sneak it out and water their plants with it every once in a while. It's not the biggest of deals, but, you know, 
It's not, it's definitely no freaking SCP-96 or 173. Those are way cooler, but I'm on probation or whatever it is and I can't do the cool ones. All right, this is actually one of the coolest SCPs in my opinion. It's not dangerous at all unless you touch it weird. Uh, this is SCP-914, otherwise known as the Clockworks. Now, what's really cool about the Clockworks is it's some sort of weird machine. But what it does is really cool. So I'm going to put this apple right here. I'm just going to throw an apple in there, right? I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to do find mode, right? And then I'm going to activate it. And then the machine starts working. And if we go over here, you'll see that the apple has been upgraded into a golden apple. And what's really cool is we can keep doing this. So like I got, the, it's just a regular golden apple. It's not the best golden apple, but if I throw in the golden apple and then we take it to very fine mode and we activate it. We have to wait a little longer. It takes a little bit more to refine it. There we go. We've now got the notch golden apple. So that's right. This thing can upgrade basically so much things. It's, it's so important. That's why we got to keep it out of people's hands. Um, but it can also do other weird things. So I've got some white wool. I'm going to throw that in here. Then we're going to go to one-to-one -one mode. And we're going to activate it. Okay. And I got some orange wool. And this will keep going. Like I can throw it back in here. Do a one-to-one. -one. Maybe I don't like that orange wool. Got to make sure that's closed. Let's do activate one-to-one. -one. Now we got purple wool. Or magenta. Yeah. So it's so, it's so cool. I don't know what kind of technology this is. I wonder, what if I set it to rough? Is it going to do anything? Doesn't seem like I like that. Maybe it can't really set the magenta down to lower. Hmm. And another thing we can do is if we set the emerald ore in here, right? And we set it to, I want to say coarse. It turns it into 40 emeralds it extracted the emeralds and kind of broke it up and now we've got more of it so very very cool machine um something else to just tell you guys is that these are moving clockwork pieces don't touch it they hurt like I, i'm gonna do it ouch they hurt pretty darn a lot so just be careful around this thing if you gotta save the world and make some really cool machinery don't, don't touch the clockworks they're grinding gears they grind you up they're painful okay Next, SCP. Now, in front of me is SCP-458, otherwise known as the never-ending pizza. And the way it works, it's just this little Caesar's hot and ready pizza here, but as long as you're hungry, you can take as many pizza slices as you'd like. But once you've eaten from the pizza box, you can't get any more. So you can just eat until you're full, but you can't ever eat until you're like really overfilled. Now, I've been trying to ask them, hey, I really like pizza. Can I just take the pizza box with me? Keep it at my, you know, my house, and I'll eat that, and you don't have to bring me cookies and cake. And they were like, no, you're not doing that. So, as long as I'm hungry, I can get the pizza slices, but as soon as I'm not hungry, I cannot. I guess that's why we use this for pizza parties all the time. <laughs> anyway, let's go on to the next SCP. All right, in front of me is SCP-553, otherwise known as the Crystalline Butterflies. These are so cool. I, I actually know all about these. These are a different form of life, and I find that fascinating. It's like the animal planet went crazy. There are these butterflies, but they're not actually butterflies. They're made entirely out of rock. You can see them. They're just floating around. They're completely silicon-based. They're not carbon-based at all. They, they don't even... Well, that one's a really close one. They don't really look that much like butterflies because they're not butterflies. They just kind of resemble them. Now, these things are completely safe, however, um, if you get them riled up, they will perceive you as a threat and, like, swarm you, and they're made out of rock, and so they can lacerate your skin, and we have lost some people to them before. So, definitely be careful, but they're not going to attack me. I can go down here and frolic with them, which I'm going to do because they're so interesting! Hey, everybody! Look at the little butterfly, guys. 
Now, you might be seeing these rocks with white specks on them. That's actually how they reproduce because they don't lay eggs. They're calcium deposits. And so they just slowly drip, 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 and they get bigger, and it's really cool. It's just really cool. Look at these guys. Now, again, if I kill one of these, though, they might be upset at me, and they might try to kill me. And I guess I got to try it. Oh, you're not even going to try to kill me. Well, that's really cool. So yeah, they're completely harmless. I feel bad about killing him now. Are these things even actually technically alive? Because, I mean, they're rocks. They don't have brains or anything. Oh well. Next SCP. All right, in front of me is SCP-330. Um, it's called Take Only Two, and all it is, it's just this candy bowl. It's just full of candy, and if you take one piece, You'll actually see that it's the same candy that I got from the vending machine. And the candy's great, it tastes great! Um... Then, then you take a second one, and that's cool. But, here is the thing. If you take a third piece... Uh, I really don't want to do it. You can only take two candies and it kills you. But luckily I wake up in my room, so it's fine. Um... And the cool thing is, is now that I've died, it doesn't really bother me that much because I can go and get some more candy. Let's go get more candy, guys. All right, now that I've died, I can get two more pieces of candy. But if I get a third one... Well, yeah, that happens. Now, it kills me, but it's supposed to be cutting off your hands. Um, it, it, I do want to note that the timer on that does reset, so after about a day, the count resets and you can get more candy. So it's not as bad. Honestly, it's just designed to like keep you from losing weight, but uh, anyway, let's go on to the final SCP. So finally, this is SCP-1437, otherwise known as a hole to another place. Um, it's literally just this hole. We don't know where it goes. Things come out of the hole. Nothing bad though, like a quarter and stuff. Or whatever that was. I don't know what that was. I, but yeah, things things come out of the hole. Um, it's just a hole, and I thought it might be a good idea if we try to fall through the hole and see where we go. Oh, okay. There's a bottom to the hole, but I got a sweet gun out of it. Aw, oh, dude! <laughs> You want a Sprite Cranberry? I'm all out of ammo. You live this time. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this safe edition of the SCP Lockdown Mod Showcase. Um, on the bright side, I get my cake, so that's really cool. Uh, I, I'm kind of bored, though, because I really wanted to do some really cool SCPs, but either they don't exist yet, or they won't let me do it, so I don't, I don't really know What's going on here? Anyway, guys, if you want to see more SCP-related stuff, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and all that kind of stuff. It really shows your support to the channel. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya!